Welcome to day eight of the 10 a 10 for 10 challenge. Close your eyes and let your arms by your side. Take a deep inhale, raising your arms. And exhale, let them fall back down by your sides. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Lovely. Rolling the shoulders back, keeping the eyes open. Come to the top of your mat or your space if you're not using a mat today. And we're going to go straight into our sun salutations A. So we'll do three rounds of these. So arms up over your head. Try to breathe through your nose through all of these exercises. Forward fold. Just walk the legs out with this one. Just slowly, first forward fold of the day. Maybe move your body from side to side. Come to a half lift and step back into your plank. From here, chaturanga, whatever one feels better, so either with the knees down or half push up. And resting down, relaxing your feet, come to a cobra. Inhale, tuck the toes and exhale, come into down dog. So you can keep your knees bent, but back straight, arms straight, relax the head. Walking the dog, walking the feet out. Looking between your hands and stepping forward, halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale the arms up over your head and come to prayer. All right, so we're going to try and do this in time with our breath now. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Stepping back into plank, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes. Exhale, plank, uh, downward dog, apologies. And breathe, three breaths. Remember, you can keep a bend in the knees if you want. Looking between the hands, stepping forward for a half lift. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the arms up over your head. And exhale to come to prayer. <coughs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Stepping back into plank and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes. Exhale, downward dog. And breathe. Resetting the feet. Relaxing the head. Keeping the arms straight. The hands are pushing away from the ground. Looking between the hands, stepping forward, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale the arms up over your head, and exhale to prayer, and straighten again, inhale over your arms over your head, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, stepping back into plank, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Tucking the toes. Exhale to downward dog for three breaths. If 
in between the hands, stepping forward. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale the arms up over your head. And exhale to come to prayer. Well done. So we're going to go into uh, Utkatasana, our chair pose. So bring your heat, feet hip distance, feet parallel, and arms out in front of you, and sit into your chair. So you want to be able to see your toes over, the, over your knees, or peeking out in front of your knees, rather. Really stick your bum out in this one. Shoulders away from the ears. Sit a little bit lower in the chair. Maybe lift your toes. <coughs> Sit a little bit lower. Keep those toes lifted. Sit a little bit lower, really sticking the bum out. And coming up to standing, leaving the arms where they are. Come up onto your toes. So this is awkward pose. So you want to imagine you're sliding down, keeping, stay on your toes. You want to imagine you've got your back against a wall and you're sliding down the wall. So you want to keep your back really straight. This is an absolute killer on the thighs. Maybe raising your ankles a little bit. Sitting a little bit lower. Don't forget to breathe. And relax. Shaking the feet out. Come to a wide-legged stance. So the wider your legs are, the easier it is. Hands on your hips and hinging from your hips, fold all the way forward. Placing your hands on the ground, in line with your feet, and just tipping that weight into the balls of your feet, letting your head relax. And breathe. Slowly coming up all the way up and coming up to a standing position we're going to a tree balance so wherever you are today hands on your hips focusing on the patch of wall in front of you and either just balance on your toe put your hand on your foot on your calf or your foot on your thigh but really make sure it's not on the knee joint If you're feeling stable, you can put your branches in the air. And kick out the leg in front of you. Swapping to the other foot now. So again, you can either just be balancing on your toe, your calf, or your thigh. Focusing on that patch of wall in front of you. And if you're feeling stable, branches in the air. And kick out the leg in front of you. Um, we'll come back down to the ground. So we'll take, go to a plank and come all the way down going straight into snake pose. So clasping your hands behind your back, lifting the front of your body up. Try to lift your arms up, your hands up behind you. It's a really nice shoulder stretch at the same time as using all of your back muscles. And try to keep your bum muscles relaxed in this. Tiny bit higher and release the hands. Pushing yourself back <coughs> to seated. We're going to do boat pose. So try to keep your chest forward in this. 
and lift your legs. So either holding onto the backs of your knees or your arms stretched out in front. Or if you're feeling really strong today, straightening your legs. But really, really keep that chest lovely and open. Lovely. And we do a bridge pose. So now lying down on your back. Bring your feet close to your bum and lifting your hips up. So from here, just try and relax your bum muscles so it's all in the thighs and the legs. Maybe a tiny bit higher. And slowly bring your pelvis back down to the ground. Arms up over your head and sit up, coming straight into a forward fold. So bringing your toes towards your face, keeping your feet active, hinging from your hips, folding forward. So you're doing that lovely hamstring stretch. If you're going to be anything like me, you're going to be sitting at a desk all day, so your hamstrings will thank you for this lovely stretch. And lying down for the last pose, Shavasana. So just tense all of your ball, your fists, point your toes, really tense your arms, your feet, your legs, and then relax. Letting your feet flop out, palms up. Oh, just relax your shoulders. Eyes closed. Let your breathing return to normal. Relax any tension you might have around your eyes. And relax your forehead. Relax the back of your neck. Well done for completing day eight of the Tanatan Yoga Challenge.